Oh boy. You know what I don't see? I don't see my uh, island across there. Doggone the ponds done come up a foot or more. Oh boy. Let's get out and check it out. Got a good amount of water pouring in. I didn't realize it rained as much as it did. But the pond come up at least a foot. It looks nice though. Got a little erosion over there. There's really nothing you can do about that. They're gonna get everything seated once I get done, but uh, it's gonna come up a little higher so it'll it'll cover most of that edge up. Well, I guess the only good thing about this is, I don't know if there is a good thing about this. I don't want to start the siphon back up. Well, I'm just going to reach out there and grab this and build the bank back. Kind of like what I was doing right here. Looks like all that drained towards the pond. I don't have any big puddles. So I'll just reach out there. It's just gonna make life a little, a little, a little more aggravating, but we will succeed. I just need to make sure that uh, ooh, it's not too high to put my new overflow in because water level is only gonna come up maybe a foot higher than it is right now. Normally I have to have it down three feet to be able to put the overflow in. So we'll have to walk down there and assess that. So I decided just to go ahead and start redigging. Um, I'm not going to try to drain the water out. Unless I absolutely have to to put the overflow in. Uh, it's making a royal mess, but I am getting it. So when you dig the mud directly out from under the water, it just all turns to liquid. And I know it's kind of hard to explain, but when there's not water on it, it's not a complete muddy mess. It's mud, but it's not liquidy. So. I only got about another 100 feet to do, so I don't want to wait another day for the water to go down. And then as dry as it's been, I, I hate to dump all that water out downstream and, and uh, not get it back. So I'm just going to just slowly, really from like here to the docks, the worst spot. And then all over there is pretty much just clean up the edge. So this is really the only spot that I've actually got to reach you know 20 30 feet out to the pond and pull that back because if you remember how shallow that was i gotta be able to cut that grade back out but it is what it is i'll make it work so the only aggravating thing about digging under the water is it's hard to keep track of where you've dug because it all blends together so what i do is since it's shallow is kind of pull that mud up right here at the bank and whenever I see the edge there I know that I haven't gone any farther past that so I'm going to make one pass real close to the bank and then scoot over a little bit and uh, pull this leading edge up this should get our whoop going in the pond Everything's so slick. That should get our three foot of depth out there we're trying to shoot for. Let's see if I can if I go not end up in the pond. the best of it. So right here I can tell that I got a little 
far over on that last cut. So I'm gonna come back in here and take out my little windrow in between them. come over here and get what I did done because uh, I could imagine having to dig all that out of the water it would not be fun Look all this up, work do it again. Can you see why I don't like digging in water? Oh, it's a mess. You can only put so much before it just all starts running back in. So can't really grade too good around the dock with it. But it's there. I'm going to uh finish running down this shoreline right here and shaping it up heading out
done. Everything's dredged out of the pond in the head section now. I'm gonna walk down here uh, before I go to lunch and make sure that the pond is still down enough where I can put the overflow in. If not, I gotta bring the stuff back to start siphoning up. So I'm getting the mini unstrapped here and unloaded off the trailer. I really couldn't believe I made it all the way back here without getting stuck. I was flinging some mud though. <laughs> got a good running start. So I went and got the mini excavator. I need to put the overflow in tomorrow. And I talked with the property owner that far edge over there between that floating dock and the pond dam. It's too narrow to get the big excavator down and to raise the water up to where I need to, it's really gonna flood that bank and make it a swampy mess. So I talked them in to let me uh, bring the mini over here and spend a little more time with the small grading bucket and pulling that edge up like I've done everything else just to fix that one little area. It's only maybe 150, 200 feet long just so it's not a, a mess. But uh, as far as that, everything else is graded out over there. And uh, I'm gonna go over there and take the siphon out. And I think the, the pond's up higher than it really needs to be for me to put the overflow in, but I think I can throw some mud there up and dam it up so that I can cut it through there tomorrow. Made it over here with the mini excavator. I was able to jump across the siphon pipe. Just there's still a lot of water flowing in here, so I'll have to make that assessment in the morning if it's uh, too much water that I got to siphon it back down. But I still hope I can. Uh, hopefully, it won't come up maybe an inch or two tonight, and I can still put that overflow in. What I'll do is I'll take some dirt and just build a little dam out there to keep it back. Is what I'm hoping. But uh, I'm gonna run down here with the bucket and thumb and grab some of this stuff and uh, get it out of the way of the bushes and junk and then put my grading bucket on and start down there and just pull some dirt up on that edge and uh, raise that up a little bit.
here that I have awakening the snapping turtle. He was probably tucked all in the mud, nice and comfy for the winter. And then I go and dig him up. He is probably not happy with me. I'll chunk him back out there for the winter. edge looks better I'll just grab all this stuff with the big excavator when I uh, come back over here and just lay it over here in the woods out of the way I got the machine nice and muddy that's what sucks about the wind blowing this way at Mach 4 today is every time I took a scoop you know there's always air that blows out of the bucket but it blows muddy water out and the wind just took it and just blew it all over me the whole time I was sitting there digging so Yanmar's going to need a bath in fact, it's all over the boom, and the whole machine's going to need a good bath when it gets home. Well, I broke the new off of it, didn't I? Man, I didn't realize it was getting that muddy. Oh, well. Part of the business. It's cold and windy. I'm going home. I'm going to come back tomorrow and bring all the stuff to put the overflow in, and should be able to get the overflow in, and majority of this dam graded out and uh maybe just a little more tidy up work wednesday and we'll be done